Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajua. Ajua Slay. Baby, now your love is a change and you the key for the love and the energy. So today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I did this Afro wig using a uh, braiding hair extension. So starting off, um, we are going to need a braiding hair extension, of course. We're going to need a wig net. We're going to need some straws. We are going to need some bobby pins. We are going to be needing some rubber bands and now let's get into the tutorial. But before we get into the tutorial though, Hi, welcome. My name is Ajwa. Like I said, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you are old, thanks for always coming back. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you get notified anytime I upload a video. And on this channel, I upload hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, fashion videos, vlog, lifestyle vlogs, and everything in between okay so welcome on board so starting off we're going to stretch out the hair luckily for you if you found a pre-stretch hair no problem but for me i'm using a bulky hair so i'm going to stretch out the hair so after stretching out the hair i'm going to take the hair in bits and i'm going to crochet it to my wig net yes so basically that's the most important thing <laughs> that's the most important thing as in that's the most work for this week tutorial and if you're fast i think this should take you like an hour to crochet all the hairs to the net but if you're slow and you know you get overwhelmed in between relax you can take about one week to do this week it's your week it's you that want to wear the week so if you decide to do it for one week no problem just do you boo do whatever makes you happy but just make sure you understand the tutorial and you are able to follow the tutorial and you are able to do your own afro wig okay if you can't do it yourself you can also pay me to do it for you okay the link to my hair page will be in the description box as well you can send a dm via my hair page and i can help you do one for sale of course you're going to pay for my time and energy and everything that i'm going to use so feel free to do you boo so continuously slowly i'm showing you how to crochet the hair to the net you're going to do it in bits small small you don't have to pack chunky and bulky section of hair and crochet because if you do it that way at the long at the end of the day you have yourself to blame so now we've got into the middle of the net and we'll continue crocheting the hair around from here we're going to crochet it around the net from the beginning i only focused on the back part but when you get to the middle you're going to try and crochet the rest around the net as you go ahead yeah so for this channel we don't we are not looking for perfectionists we don't do we don't do perfection when it comes to wig tutorial i won't lie i'm a big perfectionist but when it comes to wig tutorial when it comes to hair tutorials we are all beginners and we are all doing whatever we think we want to do i mean if I wanted to do tutorials like a hairstylist, this will not be how I'll be doing it. But I want you guys to know that we are all learners. And me, myself, I do things whilst I do things how they work for me. You know, you don't have to be perfect to do DIYs, you know, do whatever comes to mind. That's so why I was just sitting in this this wig tutorial came to mind like it's been something i've always wanted to own like i love afro wigs so much and i've always wanted to own one but i don't know why i kept procrastinating but finally i did it i did it so now we are the front part and crocheting the hair around the neck like i said so i didn't want my front part to be too much so 
I left some intervals, it wasn't close to each other like the rest of the hair, especially at the back because I didn't want it to be too much in front of me. So that's what I did guys. So if you've got into this part of the video, congratulations, like you're more than five minutes into this video, congratulations. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Leave any comments at all. It could be an emoji just to make sure, just to make me know that you were here. You actually watched the video. I really appreciate it when people take their time to show love, to leave comments, to make sure, to make sure I know that they were here to watch the video and they've learned something they are going to use to finish their life because that's what this channel is about and that's what these head tutorials are all about finishing your life yes you know so now we have got into the center and i'm going to take it slow to that to make sure the ceiling is perfect okay so after a few days later <laughs> i actually go back to the wig and now i'm attaching the hair to the straws so you attach the straw, you secure the straw with a bobby pin from the root. Then you twist the hair and wrap it around the straw. If you really want your curls to pop, you need to twist the hair. If you don't twist the hair, the curls are not going to come out like mine. So you have to twist the hair and wrap it around the straws. So like I said, you don't have to kill yourself. If you can't do this wig in a day it's fine baby because it took me time like it took me weeks to complete this week but then this is a video so you wouldn't know how many days i spent looking at just watching the video but i won't lie to you it took me weeks it took me like a month and two weeks to finish this week because i was actually done with this whole part of the week like i was done i placed the wig I was done like it was left with the final part of the week and i was so overwhelmed i was going through a lot i mean life happens so i decided to abandon the wig for like a month my mom was like would you do this wig you left it there like that for like four weeks now would you do it she was she actually was eager she wanted to see the outcome of the week so she was actually pushing me to get back to work <laughs> get back to the finished look of the week because you really wanted to see it but like i said you're human i'm human like you so if you feel like you can't complete this week in a day you don't have to kill yourself okay take all the time you need like i said it's you that want to wear the wig so take all the time you need okay just do you so for the last time you're going to apply, you're going to apply the straws and you're going to hold the straw in place with a bobby pin. Then you twist the hair and you wrap the hair around the straws. It's a very simple process guys. So the more you do it, the more you get used to it and you'll be fast. So starting up will be sketchy, yes, <laughs> but the more you do it, the more you get used to it and the more you become fast in doing this. So that's it guys. So take your time, make sure the twist, the hair is twist well, you know, and when you're getting to the end, the ends of the hair, you're going to twist and wrap, twist and wrap, twist and wrap until the hair is finished. Then you fold the straws at the end and you secure it with a rubber band. Yes, you need to secure it so it doesn't come off because if you don't secure it, it will come off. So now we go to the last section of the hair. You attach the straw, secure it with a bobby pin. You twist the hair with your hands, like so, like the way they do dreadlocks, you know, twist it with your hands. Then you wrap it on the straws, twist it with your hands, and you wrap it 
on the straws. Once again, twist it with your hands and wrap it on the straws whilst you go. Very simple, right? So simple. So this is where the major work is. I mean, attaching the hair to the net and wrapping the hair to the straw. That's where the major work is because that's all the work you need to do. Like, that's the major work. After you're done with this two <laughs> section of working, your wig is almost done. Your wig is almost done. The rest is fulfillment because you really want to see the outcome of the week after you're done with this section the rest is fulfillment like you, you got to see the outcome of your work so simple so you wrap the hair around then you secure the ends with bobby you secure the ends with rubber band okay you can also use bobby pins you can also secure it with bobby pins, but I didn't have enough bobby pins. You can secure the ends with bobby pins. I didn't have enough bobby pins, so I used the rubber band. If you want to see how I secure, how to secure the knots with bobby pins, you can watch my DIY I have drawstring ponytail. That the actual drawstring ponytail. I'm going to. I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box for you, okay? I thought I was done actually, but I left it one, the very last one. So the same process, you secure the straws, attach to the hair with bobby pins. Boom. Then you twist the hair. You can go any direction you want actually. This was the direction that I was okay wait you if you are a lefty you can go on the left side not just lefties do whatever side you go that makes you fast or helps you you go but for me this was the part that helped me this was the part that was okay that was easy for me to extend it to this direction so you can do whatever directions you want to do okay so you twist it to one direction then you wrap it around the straws very simple right let me know in the comment section if this tutorial is simple because i feel like this tutorial is simple i feel like this tutorial is very simple just that you get lazy <laughs> you can get lazy easily but then if you're really eager to see the outcome of the wig, I don't think you get lazy. Because for me, I wasn't eager to see the outcome. Though even though I really wanted the outcome wig, but I wasn't eager to see the outcome. You know, when life hits, you just, you just do whatever you need to do. So take all the time you need. Okay, because when you're done with the wig, you're done you're going to use it forever so we were done with the wrapping of the hair to the straws now it's time for the game changer so you're going to need hot water and for this hot water i mix the hot water with my diy conditioner diy conditioner which is set to be selling very soon so you all need to take your time for me okay have patience for me but then if you do for now you can use any conditioner you have but for me i used my diy conditioner you know because it has a lot it comes with a lot of goodies in the conditioner okay so you're going to put the wig in the mixture of water water and conditioner you know you're going to set it that's how you set the curls okay the water should be warm should be hot actually so that you'll be able to set the hair because it's, if it's not hot the hair will not be properly set okay and the conditioner helps with frizzy and tangles and 
smooth sail of the curls so you need a conditioner okay especially a conditioner like mine but then like i said it will be selling very soon so have all the patience in the world for me okay <laughs> so you're going to wrap it around the towel or you know some cotton dress that you don't use anymore just to drain the water out of the wig and you're going to leave it for it to dry if it has to take i like usually for me i leave my hair for a whole day i actually put it on a dry line for a whole day for it to dry because if it doesn't dry well i feel like the curls does not come out well if the water doesn't if the hair doesn't dry well so for me i make sure it's dry and like i said uh the wig was sitting <laughs> on this mannequin on this mannequin here for like one whole month before i did this unraveling of curls but if you're in a hurry but just if you're in a rush to wear the wig just make sure you let the wig sit for like a whole day so that it can get all the dryness it needs okay so that it can the water can get out of the wig and it can be as dry as dry so that your curls can pop okay so that's what you need to do so you know you, you take your time to separate the curls in bits in tiny bits because if you leave the curls chunky it will not be afro it will be a different style or else maybe you're going for a different style you can leave the curls as chunky as you want but if you're going for an afro wig like what i'm doing you have to take your time to separate the curls in bits okay that's how you get the curls that's how you get the afro curls separating it in bits is how you get the afro curls like i said if you're actually going for a different style <laughs> you can leave your curls in a chunky part okay but i was going for an afro wig and if you're actually going for an afro wig like mine make sure you take the time to separate the curls and this will not take you too much. this will not take your time like you can do the separation of the curls within like 20 minutes within 20 minutes so by 48 hours you should be done with this wig in 48 hours yes if you're actually doing it on a go you should actually be done with this wig in 48 hours because you really need it you need a day for the curls you need a day for the hair to get out of the wig so the hair can be very dry for your curls to pop so when you're done you can trim out excess hairs here and there you know i actually i loved my wig big i wanted i actually wanted a big wig so i didn't cut too much you can actually shape it for it to become very small but i actually liked my wig big you know i like extra if you've been on this channel you know that i love extra things i'm extra so i needed my afro to be big even this was not as big as i wanted i'm sure i'm going to be doing another afro wig because i really want to get that of a boom afro wig effect and you see there were some spaces in the front section because you remember from the beginning i didn't I didn't, I didn't crochet too much hair for the front part because I didn't want my front part to be too much. Yes, that's how I want it. If you want your front part to be too much, you can, you know, you can crochet a lot of hair there. But for me, I didn't want it to be too much, so I didn't crochet a lot of hair in my front. Hence, the spaces you see in the front section. But then if you, at, if you wear it on your head, you are not going to see those spaces because your hair is going to conceal it and if you're wearing it on your head you can actually wear like a brown net before you wear it you know to conceal everything to make everything look like it's coming from your scalp you get it so voila we are done with the wig now it's time to attach the wig and for this wig you don't have to do too much to your hair trust me you don't have to corner your hair you can just pack your hair to the back just like what i did and put on your wig so this wig is for 
those those of us that are always on the go, you just pick it, you put it. I mean, you can put this hair on your braids. Like, you can just pack your braids in the back and put this wig on it, you know. Switch it up. Switch it up in a few seconds, baby. You don't have to take the whole day, you know. Very simple, quick and easy, beautiful. I love it. Even though I didn't get the Vavavum effect like I wanted, but I'm sure I'm going to do another one with the Vavavum effect, definitely, most definitely, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you leave a comment, and I'll see you in another video. What a high